Hey guys, good morning to you all. Happy Friday. Um, I pray that you guys are doing well out there. I know it's been a minute since I've been on. Um, I have been so busy that, you know, that's about as much as I can say on anything. I've just been very busy. Um, I am as surprised as you guys are that I am back on today uh, to do a prayer message that the Lord has given me. Um, I truly do miss you guys. I really do. Um, I feel the Holy Spirit all over me right now. I am just thankful to be alive in the land of the living another day, right? Um, I think any time that we are up and awake and we're able to breathe in fresh air, we're able to see the people that we love, we're able to say we love you, we're able to forgive people, we're able to praise God one more day, uh, we have one more opportunity to get this life right, you know, to get things right. Um, Any time that we can experience those things, it's a, it's a, it's a blessing. It really truly is a blessing. So I woke up this morning and the Lord had in my spirit uh, just kept coming to me. I couldn't shake it. Uh, the need to forgive my enemies and the need to love them. And for me, when I was in my isolation period for so many years, that was something the Lord uh, was putting in my spirit to do, um, to learn to not waste time in forgiving people and to learn to um, just don't give too much time in, um, you know, what people do to you. Like if somebody does something bad to you or something that's unacceptable with or without an apology, uh, the need to forgive them and to do it right away. Uh, because we don't want to um, be in prison uh, because of what someone else has done to us or what others have done to us. We don't want to imprison ourselves behind others' actions, basically, right? So the Lord was speaking to me this morning about just forgiving people. Um, in life, as long as you're living this life, as long as we're living this life, we're going to always have some kind of an enemy that's going to rise up against us, okay? Uh, there'll be enemies within your home, within your family, There'll be enemies, people you don't even know from a can of paint. You don't even know these people, but they're your enemies. Uh, you'll have secret enemies, people that claim that they're your friends, but really they are secret enemies. Um, you'll just have all types of things, right? Um, when Jesus walked the earth, he too had to deal with enemies. Uh, he went around and did good to those, even those who hated him. You know, he was able to forgive people right in the middle of them crucifying him, right in the act of destroying and taking our Savior off of this earth. Although they really didn't do that anyway. I mean, they took him out of his body, but they didn't take him. They, didn't, they couldn't do anything with his spirit. Right. So but in the middle of that act. He was still yet forgiving his enemies. He was still demonstrating love. Okay, so I woke up this morning and forgive if you hear any noise, anything. I'm not right at the house right now. And so there's workers and stuff around me. Um, but um, when I woke up this morning, it was just heavy on my heart to forgive that the Lord was like, do it right away. Don't waste any time. He said, don't waste any time. Forgive right away. So I started speaking on anybody I could possibly think of that I needed to forgive that perhaps I had not forgiven. OK, um, because when people do evil towards us, nine times out of ten, they're not even thinking about the evil that they're doing. Some people are it's just in them to do evil. And so when it's in a person to do evil, they're not thinking about anyone that they're hurting or the pain they're causing you. It's just they just have the spirit of antichrist in them. They don't realize or they do realize it because some people realize they're working for Satan and they're OK with that. 
You know, they're okay with the thoughts of knowing that they're going to go to hell. They don't care about hell or if they go. And so they just naturally go out here and bring destruction to people's lives and hurt and pain and harm. And that's what that's what they do. And then you have others that are just influenced by the devil. They're just influenced by him uh, for whatever reason, for whatever reason. But regardless of the reasons as to why people have done things to bring offense to us or to harm us or to bring pain into our lives, there is still a need to pray for them. There is still a need to forgive them. There is still a need to release them into the Lord's hands and allow him to, to bring the judgment that needs to be brought upon them. Okay. Um, but we have to live in a state of freedom and the only way that we can live in that state of freedom and, and peace of mind, oh, I feel you, Holy Spirit, is to forgive the wrongs that were done to us. And this is not saying that they're being excused or that they're getting away with anything because they're not. They're simply just going to be, you know, and they're simply just going to have to answer to God. That's what's, going, that's what's going to happen. And when you allow God to handle these people, he does a much better job at it. OK, and we're not to make light of anything that happens to them or anything, but just stay out of God's way, basically, is what I'm hearing. Just stay out of his way and let him handle these enemies. So I'm just going to go ahead and lead us in prayer. And then I'm going to go ahead and end this message because I don't want to make it very long today. But this is just something that was so heavy on me. And guys, when I tell you, I feel the Lord's presence all in my stomach and my hands. <sighs> I am just grateful. I'm just grateful that I have that type of connection with God. I, I There is nothing that tops it. There's no relationship on earth that tops the connection I have with our father. I'm grateful that I'm one of many that's able to experience him this way where I could just call on him. and He just instantly shows up, instantly shows up. I can call on him for whatever I need. If I need peace, I call on him. He's there. If I'm overwhelmed, I call on him and he's there. If I'm happy and I'm joyful and I'm just thankful, uh, I call on him and he's there to share in that happiness and that joy. Um, you can call on him any day or night. And I don't want you guys to think that when people hurt you, that you're not going to feel it. You're going to feel it when they hurt you. Don't get me wrong. OK, it's going to be felt, but the level of intensity to which you feel it, feel it is really going to what's going to help you feel it the way that you need to feel it and release it is your relationship with the Lord. OK, because and plus, he's not going to give you much. He's not going to give you what you can't bear. He's not going to give you too much that you cannot handle. If he didn't think you could handle it, he wouldn't give it to you. OK. So let's go ahead and get into this prayer. So dear Heavenly Father, oh God, we just thank you for the time, the opportunity you've given us to gather together in prayer. And God, you say we're two or three are gathered together. You are in the midst of them. So we're grateful for you being with us. We're grateful for uh, your presence. We're grateful for another chance to talk with you, to pray with you. Um, to come together and lift up your name, Lord God. So today we just want to pray for our enemies. Today we just want to ask God that you will just begin to deal with our enemies, deal with their hearts, deal with their minds, deal with what they do. Father, we ask God that you would just get inside of them uh, to help them to turn, turn away from their wickedness. Help them to turn away from the evil that is in their hearts, the mischief, the things that they are uh, conjuring up, the things that they are doing against your people, God. We ask, God, that you will give them uh, a moment, a moment to stop what the things that they are doing, Lord God, and to understand the need that they have to find you and to repent of all of their evil and wicked ways, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, for those that are coming to you, God, that want forgiveness, for those who want to turn away from evil, the evil that they're doing in this earth, God, we pray that when they turn to you, that it be an instant forgiveness, 
that it would be an instant pardon of their sins and that they will be they will begin to turn away from darkness and turn to the light and begin to walk in it and that they will begin to receive freedom that they will begin to see receive freedom and that is for those people who genuinely uh want to change they genuinely want to turn from their evil and wicked ways lord god father i pray that you will put in their hearts to do right by people, to make their wrongs right while they are still on the earth, while they still have the time to make their wrongs right, Lord God. And Father, for those enemies who refuse to repent, those enemies who refuse to turn from their wicked ways, Father, we pray divine judgment to fall upon these people, divine judgment to fall upon these people for the things that they have done. The words spoken, the evil actions that they have, Lord, may all those things that they have done fall upon their own heads, Lord God. And Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray, Father, that you would just protect us, Lord God, from all of the wickedness and all the evil that is so heavy and present in this world today. Lord, you say that if we call upon you, God, that you will shield us, that you will hear us. God, that you will answer us. So we are praying right now, Father, for your divine protection, that your holy angels will encamp around us, that you will protect us from every form of evil and wickedness that is in this world today. In the name of Jesus, we pray that our encounters with people will be a blessing to them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give us the words to say in season to those who are hurting and broken and lost. Help us to lead people to you, Lord God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And Father, we repent of our sins. Anything that we may have done knowingly or unknowingly, Lord God, we repent of those things today. Help us to walk righteously. Help us to walk on the path that leads to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for mercy. We thank you for grace. Who Jesus. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for grace, Lord God. Hallelujah. We ask that you protect our children. We ask that you protect our grandchildren. We ask that you will protect our great, great, great grandchildren. Protect our family members for the things that are happening on this earth or the things that are coming. Protect us. When others are not covered, cover us, God. Cover us because we belong to you, Lord God. Glory be to God. And let the blood of Jesus cover us from all evil. Every plot of the enemy, it is canceled right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that we are at peace. We declare that we are happy. We declare that we are whole. We declare that we are healthy. We declare in the mighty name of Jesus that good things are happening in our lives. For the remainder of this year, only good things and only good news will be our portion. We declare in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against us will prosper. We declare in the name of Jesus, Lord God, everything good, all good things are happening to us and for us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we thank you, God. We thank you, God, because you are in control of everything. You are in control. You have power to handle everything for us. We don't have to worry. We don't have to stress about a thing. We lay every care at your feet because we know, God, ultimately you are in control of everything. You are in control of everything. Whew. We give all praise and glory to you today, God. Hallelujah. We love you. Mm, 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 mm. We love you, God. We love you, Lord. There is nobody like you on this planet, on this earth. There's nobody like you. There's nobody that will ever be like you, God. You're a good God. You're a good God. No matter what goes on in this in this world or in our lives as individuals, you are always good. You are good on a bad day and you are good on a good day. You're just good, God. You're just good and we love you. We love you, God. We're thankful, God, that you're answering our prayers. You're answering our prayers and we're thankful, God, that you are protecting us, God. 
that you are protecting us no matter what goes on in this earth, no matter who's in office, no matter what the devil's plotting, no matter what's going on in this world today. Mm, 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 mm. You are in control. You are in control of everything and we trust you, God. We trust you. And we give all praise and glory to you right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The blood of Jesus covers this prayer. Hallelujah. God, thank you. The blood of Jesus covers you. Covers you. Hallelujah. We give all praise and glory to you right now, Lord. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Please, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Um, and please, please remain blessed. Remember that prayer is the answer to everything. Prayer answers everything. Uh, prayer has more power than gossiping. Prayer has more power than talking. Prayer is powerful. Believe that. I've seen God move in prayer uh, time and time again. I've seen a move on my behalf. Okay. So prayer is your answer to everything. So don't forget to pray. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to lift up your brothers and sisters. Don't forget to lift up those that you love. And please don't forget to lift up my name too. When you're praying, when you're mentioning others, mention my name because I'm mentioning you to God. All right. I love you, but remember God loves you more. Until next time, take care of yourself. God bless.